These are the feasts of the, Mo of the Most High God. Today was considered to be a new moon. Guess what? That's the beginning of your month. It's to be a holy convocation. Right. These are the days that you're supposed to gather together. Not on Christmas. Not on Thanksgiving. Right. Not on Halloween. Right. None of these days. You celebrate those days? So, did God tell you that you are or you're not supposed to keep Christmas? Did God say that you are or you're not supposed to do Christmas? You know what? I got to do Christmas for my kids. You got to do it for your kids? Yeah, that's right. Give me Deuteronomy and uh, 6 about teach your kids. That's it. Deuteronomy 6. You're not supposed to keep Christmas. You're supposed to keep his commandments. Right. Okay? So this is a commandment that God said you should be keeping, Terry. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 1. Right. Now, now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you. So these are the statutes and commandments that God commanded to teach you, right? Now these commandments and statutes, this is what it's talking about. Jump down to, what is it? Seven. Go ahead. Verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently. Those same commandments that God taught you, you should diligently teach who? Unto thy children. Unto your children. So if God said that you're not supposed to do Christmas, Terry, what should you be teaching your child? Not to do Christmas. Not to right. do Christmas. Right. Keep going. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house. So while you're sitting around your house, Terry, when you when your children is there, you should be telling your children about not doing Christmas. Right, exactly. You should be telling your children that when you son, when you grow up, you should grow a beard put on your on your face. You right. should put fringes on your on your clothes. You should be teaching them. When else? When thou sittest in thy house. And when thou walkest by the way. So even when you're out and about with your children, you may be going to the store. If you see something, you can tell my daughter right now, if we go to the store, she see a Christmas tree. My daughter's only three. One of them is two. They'd be like, Daddy, Daddy, sin. Because as you're out and about, you should be teaching your children about God's ways. You understand? Right, right, right. Not what your, so, what your oppressors have taught you. You understand? Don't do that for your children. Do what God said for your children. Right. That's Jump right. to chapter 7 and give me verse 25. No, 26. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 26. Right. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thy house. That Christmas stuff that you worship is an abomination unto God. Right. That hat work is a representation of Christmas. God said you should not bring that into your house, Terry. So when you go back home, that hat should not go back with you. You understand? Freedom. Lest there be a cursed thing like it. Lest you be a cursed thing like it. God don't like that. God said it should burn with fire. So guess what, Terry? If you continue to roll with that, then God is saying that you should burn with fire just like that. You understand, Terry? Yeah. Right. Read on. But thou shalt utterly detest it. You should hate that. You should not even want to do it. Somebody should not even be able to tell you. Here, Terry, here's an ugly sweater. It got all kind of little Christmas stuff on it. Wear this. You should be like, heck no, nah, I don't want that. Right. That is not what God told me to have. Right. You should utterly detest it. It should be disgusting in your mind, Terry. Right. Right. And thou shalt utterly abhor it. You should hate it. That's what abhor it means, Terry. You should hate that thing. You should hate having that on your head right now. Let me ask you this, Terry. Would you walk around with a noose on your neck? Straight out. Do you not understand that in, the, in this Christmas stuff, guess what the ornaments were? That was your head, Terry. Get out. Get out. So you wearing that, it's just like you wearing a noose around your neck, Terry. You should out. hate that. You should throw it away right now, Terry. You should not want that to be a part of you. Um, give me Deuteronomy 28 and um, verse, I think it's 36. So what kind of hat is that you got on, Terry? Get out. What kind of hat is that? That's a Christmas hat. It's a Christmas hat. Hmm. Are you sure? You sure it's a Christmas hat? Okay. 
So what does it represent? Any particular thing of Christmas? Reindeer? All right. It actually represents the elf, which is actually slaves. All right? So on December 5th in the Netherlands, you have the so-called white man will walk around the street, march around with those hats on. Right. As a represent uh, as a representation of Swarthy Pete, what Swarthy Pete or Black Peter represents is when they conquered our people and put them in slavery. Bring it out. All right, those that were that fought against the uh, uh, Catholicism and Christianity, they were considered evil. So that's where you get the uh, uh, the the crimp, uh, crimpus. 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 All right, that's where you get that monster from. Oh, those are the bad blacks, the 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 crumpus, the crimis. All right, those are the bad blacks. But Swarthy Pete, oh, he takes on uh, Christianity willingly. He's a willing slave. That's we right. love Black Peter. That's right. We out. love you, Black Elves. All right, because you accept anything in slavery. That's what that represents. You understand that? So that's why they get those Elves. So, you get mad when you see blackface on TV? You don't get mad, right? So you you weren't living during the time they were showing minstrel shows on TV, uh, uh, Al Joseph, uh, uh, even different uh, things you have now you have going on where uh, white people are trying to be so-called black people and they put on black makeup. A lot of our people that know their history they get upset, they get mad. Yeah. But with you accepting that, Terry, that means that you love this. You love the slavery of your people. You love the destruction of your people, Terry. No, I don't love that. Well, Terry, the thing is, is this. Terry, listen, listen, listen. You don't love this, right? No. Well, why do you re wear what represents it? That's right. You know, that hat represents Swarty Pete, Black Peter. You understand? That represents Christmas. And what they, what they did with the Catholic Church, they put everything together and one big ball and threw it at you and called it Christmas. Yeah. Pulled everything together, all right? They took Santa Claus and called him Santa Claus. You understand? I got you. So it's like that's a representation of evil, Satan. Right. They took, like we was going over earlier today, uh, the celebration of Nimrod, the rebirth of Nimrod, which is Tammuz, his son, reincarnated, all right, as Nimrod, and put that together and celebrate it as Christmas. Our people do it ignorantly, Terry. And when you wear those things, you celebrate those things, that means that you agree with your slavery. That's right. That means you agree with the oppression of your people, Terry. Right. No. You understand that? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 36. Come on. No. The Lord shall break thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, uh -huh. unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So what happened during this time of year in which they celebrated every December 5th in the Netherlands, all right? We were ruling Europe. Terry, we were ruling Europe. Of course, we were wicked at that time. So what happened? Hey, the Most High God allowed the so-called white man come in and conquer us. And they gave us Christianity. And by wearing that hat, that's what you represent. You say, hey, I'm down with that. I'm, I'm, I'm good with the slavery of my people. Right. I'm good with the indoctrination of my people. You understand? Oh. Read. And there shalt thou serve other gods, huh? wood and stone. And you shall serve other gods, wood and stone. That wood is that Christian cross, which is actually a T for Tammuz. Yes. You, know. you understand that, Terry? That's what that means that you that you go into and you worship. You understand? All right, uh, and read that again. It said wood and what? Wood and stone. And wood and stone. So a lot of people, a lot of our people were following the Muslim faith or Islam back in that time. You understand that? All right, and those are the gods that our people predominantly worship today. Somebody say, oh, this brother, uh, he just came up here, started talking to us, make up the name Tammuz. Ezekiel chapter 8 and verse 14. Bring it out, bring it out. So the thing is, Terry, we're trying to show you, according to this Bible, the different things that happen to our people. You say, oh, I was coming anyway. I know that I'm an Israelite. Well, you know, it's for the Israelites to keep God's laws and commandments. Right, right. right. You understand that? 
we, hey, we, we fighting against the oppression of our people. We for, we for, we for the growth, the development, you understand, of our people. We, we, we agree with our people ruling this earth in righteousness with God's laws and commandments under Christ, the black Messiah. You right. understand? Come on. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 14. Come on. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, uh -huh. which was toward the north. Come on. And towards the north. So this thing that this vision is going in with Ezekiel, he's looking towards the north, which is what? Where we at today, uh, Terry? Where we at today? What land are we in? We're in the land of North America, right? All right, so Ezekiel, our forefather, was looking towards the north, come on. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, laying in that manger. Every December 25th, celebrating his birthday, where they're actually worshiping Tammuz, and they're crying over Tammuz, Terry. You understand that? Bring it out. So you participate in those things mean that you support this pagan god. All right, jump down to verse 16. Verse 16, and he brought me into the inner court of uh -huh. the Lord's house. Read. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, Read. between the porch and the altar, Come on. were about five and twenty men uh -huh. with their backs toward the temple of the Lord. So our people, our men, turned their backs towards God's commandments. Walking in the most highest ways. You understand that, Terry? That's what you're doing today, Terry, and we're trying to help you to get out of that thing. Yes. You understand? Right. That's what our people are doing today, and we're trying to help them get out of that thing. Yes. Because what? We love our people. You understand? We want better things for our people. And that right. betterment comes by these laws and commandments. Right. We tried Pan-Africanism. We tried the Nation of Islam. Right. Uh, we tried uh, the Underground Railroad, Harriet Tubman going up to Canada. Are people still oppressed today in Canada? Do you understand? Read. And their faces toward the east. Uh-huh. And they worship the sun. And they worship what? The sun uh -huh. toward the east. They, we worship the sun towards the east. So a lot of our people today are in sun worship. That's why they go to church on Sundays. That's right. You understand? Because right. they worship the sun. They worship a lot of our people in uh, Egyptology. Oh, uh, worship uh, uh, Ra, uh, Amen Ra. All right, those things come with sun worship. Worshiping this image right here, the beast. That's right there, that is sun worship, Terry. That's right. We're trying to bring you out of those things, you understand? Right. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse three. Come on. Oh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So God is saying that the head of every man is Christ. So every so-called black, Hispanic, Native American man out here, your head is Christ himself. Read. Right. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of every last one of you women out here, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women is the man. Read on. And the head of Christ is God. And Christ's head is God. I had a woman say to me the other day that Christ and God were the same people. But that could not be the same if this says that Christ has a head, which is God. Freedom. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So even if you did not want to take it off because you believe that of Christmas or whatever, God said the fact that you have on a hat regardless of the fact, whatever it represents, if it's on while these scriptures is coming out, you dishonor Christ. Freedom. Every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. And any woman, any so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American woman that does not have her head covered when the when the scriptures is coming out, you dishonor your head. But our people, we're too simple to even understand something as simple as that. No. Why? Because we've been indoctrinated with this so-called white man we know as Christ. That's right. Who is not Christ. This man has deceived our people into Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of these other despicable holidays. I had to catch my speech for a minute. No. But we are we are so docile or we are so 
so weak to accept what's just handed to us. We too scared to do our own research. Bro. Hey bro, with the black cat. Pays no attention. I bet if I say, hey, where the weed at, he would have answered to that. You know, you know. So, if we're not supposed to be celebrating Christmas, you should ask yourself, well, what should we be doing? Guess what? God told you what you're supposed to be celebrating. What? He gave you a list of how, of days that he ordained for the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man to, to, uh, to observe. Right. Guess what? It start with the day. Read Leviticus 23. Leviticus chapter 23, verse... What? Read out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And say unto them, uh -huh. concerning the feast of the Lord. Concerning the days that he want you to observe. Read. Which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations. This is your holiday. These things that he have listed, these are your holidays. Let's see if Christmas is on this list. Let's see if Thanksgiving is on this list. Even Yo. these are my feasts. Uh-huh. Six days shall work be done. The Most High God said you got six days to do all of your work. Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. But the seventh day, which is Saturday, is the day of rest. So you should not be riding around in neighborhoods with an ice cream truck selling ice cream on the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. Right. You should not be buying ice cream on the Sabbath day. Right. That's right. Bring it out. And holy convocation. This is a holy gathering. You should be congregating on the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. I bet you ain't got a problem with going to church on Sunday. What? But when the prophets come by and read the Bible itself, and tell you exactly what God said to do, you don't even want to hear it. Read. Bring it out. Ye shall do no work therein. You should do no work on the Sabbath day. Any day he ordained to be a holy convocation, you should not be doing work. Right. Read it. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Today is the Sabbath of the Most High God in all your dwellings. Right. Whether it be right here in the Allen Benedict Court, Rather it be over in Hillendale, rather it be over in Hollywood Hills, rather it be over in a whole nother country. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. Read on. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Come on. These are the feast of the Lord, even holy convocations, which you shall proclaim in their seasons. These are the feasts of the, Mo of the Most High God. Today was considered to be a new moon. Guess what? That's the beginning of your month. It's to be a holy convocation. Bro. These are the days that you're supposed to gather together. Not on Christmas. Not on Thanksgiving. Bro. Not on Halloween. Bro. None of these days. You celebrate those days? What's your name? Come here, let me talk to you. Huh? How you doing? You okay? Yeah, you all right? That's good. How old are you? 11. And you celebrate, you, you celebrate Christmas? Why you celebrate Christmas? What's your name, Z? Say it again. Shabrasia. I'll be nice to meet you. Did, did your parents teach you uh, to celebrate Christmas? Why did they tell you? What, what, what is it about Christmas that you learned? What do you learn it about? You celebrate with your family? It's a day to celebrate with your family. So, what are some of the things that you do for Christmas? You have fun, you have dinner, you all, you all sit around the house and decorate a tree? What are some of the things you put on, do you put like silver stuff on the tree? Okay, you make stuff at school, you come on and put it on the tree. Okay, now if God, you like, you know who God is? If God told you not to celebrate Christmas, would you not celebrate Christmas? You don't know? Are you saying that because you don't know if God actually said that? 
So do you believe the words that come out of the Bible are the words of God? You do? I'm going to show you what God said, all right? And I want you to tell me what this exactly sounds like, okay? Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Come on. Out. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Okay, so the house of Israel, or who we know today as the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? That's now, right. this is something they're not going to teach you in school. You know why? Because if they teach you that, you will realize that you are the greatest people that ever walked this planet Earth. Right. You will realize that you're not black. Right. It's just the color. And you're not a Negro. You're not a nigga. You're not an African American. You're God's chosen people. That's right. You're chosen to be the greatest people of all. You will also begin to realize that Christ does not look like this man right here. But he looks more like that guy over there on the right, which actually looks more like you. You understand? So let me show you what he said. It's Sir, Sir Brazier, right? Did I say it right? Forgive me if I mess up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. learn not the way of the heathen. So when he said heathen, he's talking about other nations. That's what heathen mean, okay? So he said, don't learn the ways of the other nations, okay? Read on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For yeah. the heathen are dismayed at them. So he's saying, don't don't be so in amazement or uh, uh, in awe of different signs of the heaven, like the sun, the moon, the stars, and all this stuff. People be all other other nations. That's what they go off of. They worship these things. So most high God's telling you, don't do these things. All right. Watch what else he tell you not to do that the heathen do. Watch. For the customs of the people are vain. Vain means that it is of it's nothing. Of, of a benefit to you. You understand? It's great lies and it's no benefit to you. Right. All of their customs is no benefit to you. You understand? Right. Freedom. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Have you ever seen sometimes they have, some people have live trees? You, do y'all have a live tree, an actual live tree, or y'all got the, the kind you buy from the store? Yeah, see, I ain't gonna lie. I, I grew up in, 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 a, in a poor state. I, we couldn't always afford one. We used to always want a live tree, but we couldn't afford one. So we'll just go purchase one at the store that we ain't gotta worry about dying and all of this stuff. We put it up every year as many times as we want to, right? So he said they take a tree. Let's see what they do with this tree. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Uh -huh, come on. They thank it with silver they deck it means they decorate they decorate the tree with silver and gold you ever seen people decorate their christmas tree with silver and gold do y'all put silver and gold on your christmas tree sometimes no you just put whatever but you decorate it any kind of way that you feel is necessary right so they decorate the tree and do what they fasten it with nails and with hammers so they what What's, I'm sorry, go ahead. That it move not. So what they do, they put this tree on a on a stand so that it can stand straight up, right? Do y'all Christmas tree have a stand at the bottom of it? Yeah, so that it stands up so it don't tilt over, right? So if God is telling you that the heathen do this custom and you should not be doing this custom, what is that saying to you? Okay. So, so you shouldn't be doing it, right? Right. Is is not did not that just explain the same thing that people do for Christmas? They take a tree, put it in their house, and decorate it, put it on a stand so it don't move. That's the same thing, right? God just said you shouldn't do that. Right. Right. But guess what? You know what God said you can do? He said that you can celebrate the day of dedicating the, our temple back to the Most High God. Right. Some people know it as Hanukkah. Some people know it as the Feast of Dedication. Guess what? Christ kept the Feast of Dedication. Wouldn't you want to do what Christ did? You, you wouldn't want to do the same thing that Christ did? You would? I'm going to show you. John 10, 22 real quick. Let me just show you that Christ kept this day that I'm speaking of. Let, let me ask you this. Would you rather have a holiday that you celebrate for one day or one that you celebrate for eight days? Which one sound more fun? Eight days. 
Yeah, that's more fun. Christ celebrated this same day. You should do what Christ did. The, the scripture tell you that Christ left an example for us to follow. Watch this. John chapter 10, verse 22. Bring it out. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication. Uh -huh. And it was winter. Uh -huh. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. So Christ came to celebrate this same holiday at the feast of dedication. That's what it's called. This is when we was rededicated the temple back to God. And we were supposed to keep it for eight days. That sounds nice. That sounds fun, right? Some people will call it Hanukkah. You ever heard of Hanukkah? It's mean dedication. Now you got some uh, so-called white people going around saying that they celebrate Hanukkah, right? The Jewish people, right? But the Bible described the Jews as looking like you. You understand? So if the real Jews look like you, how could these other people actually be the Jews? You take English in class at, at all? You take English in school? That, that language arts, I'm sorry, language arts, you take language arts, they taught you about prefixes and suffixes and stuff like that, conjunction words. You learn about conjunction words, stuff like that. So the word ish is an added, a added suffix to the uh, the word Jew. So ish actually means something like or pertaining to. So that means they're not actually the Jews. They just something like or pertaining to. So they want to be like you. Did you not know that all the nations want to be like you? You know. You understand that? The other nations want to be like you. You know why they want to be like you? I'm going to tell you exactly why they want to be like you. Because you're the greatest people of ever walked the planet Earth. That's right. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino A 12 year old black boy was shot and area. killed outside. A young black a woman was arrested for a traffic police. violation. A black was man was shot and killed in the car. Just With three days after the, the police had placed her. The aftermath was aired live on Facebook. 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 Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up.
say that I'm a Jew, it sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sound wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.